Having left Kabul in the morning in the Afghanistan, our trip through the Khyber Pass to Peshawar took a full day. Join me on this exciting journey. In 1975, I did an overland trip from London, England, to Kathmandu, Nepal. Here, Afghans watched us depart from Kabul. Our journey is shown on the map with Peshawar being just over the border in Pakistan. Having passed through the border point, the journey through the Khyber Bats begins at Torkham, 36 miles from Peshawar, and extends through the pass to the Jamrud Fort, 11 miles from Peshawar. The road is extremely winding, as broad as one mile, and sometimes as narrow as 52 feet. It was heavily fortified. There's a lot of travel information on Peshawar and the Khyber Pass because of the British activity there in the 19th century. I'd read this fascinating book by William Moorcroft and George Trebek, published in 1825. My father has been an avid stamp collector. Here are some stamps showing the Khyber Pass. The border point from Afghanistan into Pakistan where you move from the right-hand side of the road to the left-hand side, honoring the British tradition. It's a rather barren spot. A postcard from Pakistan showing the Khyber Pass. Early 19th century British engravings showing the Khyber Pass. And a satellite view from Wikipedia, the Khyber Pass is shown inside the yellow square. Early photographs taken in the 1920s. And a recent panoramic view. It's even possible to take a steam train from Peshawar up the Khyber Pass. This uh, notice outlines the history of the track. The Peshawar section was built in 1883 and extended to Jamrud in 1901. A 1970 photograph of the steam train. And modern photographs 
illustrating that things haven't changed very much. Still the same steam engine. The uh, Pakistani army keeps uh, a large number of troops at the Khyber Pass. They are posted to Michni Post, providing a panoramic view of the western portion of the Khyber Pass in the Hindu Crush mountain ranges. The uh, Khyber Rifles defends the area. An artist paints the Khyber Pass. This view shows the uh, valley and Peshawar in the far distance. Typical trucks on the highway. Memorials at a bend on the road. There are a lot of deaths on this road. There's a number of books published on Peshawar that excite attention. A satellite view showing Peshawar in the small squares. The satellite view illustrates the mountains and the um, plain that the city's located in. It's not a large city, but it does have an airport. Peshawar Airport. A city map. This map shows the old city. The old city was once enclosed by a wall, which was removed during the 1950s, I think. This uh, map shows the city gates. Peshawar has a long history of warfare, as this early English engraving illustrates. Another early English engraving has been artificially covered, showing the streets of Peshawar. The uh, British government building showing some of the British colonial style. The gates of the old Peshawar walled city in early photographs. Peshawar is not a big city and there's not a lot to see or do. The bazaars uh, welcome uh, tourists and there's lots of them. They're specialized depending on what you want. Another Mughal gateway into the old city. We'll take a look at some of the postcards of Peshawar.
the gateway to the Khyber Pass. Islamia College is photogenic and a frequent target of photographers. Inside the old walled city. Uh, the university, I believe. We'll finish up with some street scenes and people around Peshawar. Street vendors along the railway track, Peshawar. A pathan. I do appreciate your company, dear viewer, on this trip from Kabul, Afghanistan, through the Khyber Pass to Peshawar, Pakistan. I do hope you have a great day.